So what up, 2K fans? We're gonna dive right into this top five. What the Fs? I don't wanna see an NBA 2K16. And I do this once a year, so some of you guys are new to my channel, you might be new to the series. Coming in at number five. The yo-yo animations. Now, when I first saw this, it was when me and D-Man UNT 2014 were playing a game together. I threw a self-oop, and the ball miraculously yo-yoed back and forth, you know, in and out of my hands. And, you know, we saw this in all the alley-oop animations. And it was clear to me that either this was overlooked, or the guys that they paid a game test didn't catch this, or maybe it didn't make it into the final build, or maybe we're not playing the final build. This was crazy. At number four. See, the average gamer would have missed this, but not me. I'm used to seeing bad ball tangibility. Yes, it is 2015, and we are still discussing ball tangibility issues. Now this goes all the way back to the beginning of time for the 2K series. Been seeing this for many years. And on YouTube, I think the first few videos discussing NBA 2K on YouTube were a lot of these issues. Where the ball becomes an apparition. And it ghosts right through your, your player. Right here, James Harden's playing some great defense. But I'm playing on Hall of Fame. And the computer wants to win, so they make the ball pass right through his arm. And they let him catch the ball, and Roy Hibbert will score after this. And this has been an issue forever. 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 At number three, <laughs> crooked jump shots. And some of you guys might be thinking, I didn't see this that often. And a lot of you guys are thinking, I see this. I see this every day. You know, I've seen this in many top five what the f's so far this year. I had to put this in the game. There's a lot of crooked jump shots. <laughs> I had to put the dream effect on there because only in Kobe's dreams is he making a jump shot like this. And he's good. Kobe's great. But he ain't that good. Come on, Come son. On, son. Go. He's all happy he made that shot. This I just found funny. I just thought this was hilarious. <laughs> I don't even know... What I was looking at when I saw this, but I was like, what is that? At number two. What? We've got the Jedi Mind Tricks. They were in 2K13, 2K14, is still here in 2K15. Once again, we have Lance Stevenson this time. And if the computer wants to beat you, they're going to beat you. Take a look at this. My man is already, you know, beginning the animation where he picks the ball up. And as you can see, this is old footage. You can see my face scan. Face is still lighter than the body. And that's, you know, another issue that we can discuss later. But right here, take a look at this. I should have been able to pick up this steal, but they warped the ball into my opponent's hands. And at number one, we still have bad reactions to loose balls. Pause. <laughs> yeah, I mean, this has been an issue forever, too. I, I don't know when they're going to be able to fix this. When this happened to me, the first time in this year's game, I was very upset to see this still happening. Right here, my player deflects the pass and just forgets. Just forgets that he had a steal, that he had a, a great steal opportunity. This is another thing that needs to be fixed. Bad reactions to loose balls. So that was your top five what the Fs at the moment that I don't want to see an NBA 2K16. Obviously, there are many, many more. I didn't forget anything. It's just a short video. There's so many more to discuss. If you have some things that you don't want to see in NBA 2K16, and definitely discuss them in the comments. Check the About section so you too can see how to send in a clip. And until next time, I'll holla at you dudes later.